In this video, we'll dive into the must-have hidden gem mods for Skyrim this November 2024. Whether you're after unique features, enhanced gameplay, or dynamic interface, these mods are guaranteed to enrich your Skyrim experience. So, let's get into it and uncover what you shouldn't miss this month. First, I'd like to introduce some hidden gem combat mods. Let's start with Stance's NG. This mod introduces a dynamic system that allows players to switch between various animation sets in real time. By default, it provides three unique stances, Bear, Wolf, and Hawk. But additional stances can be added by creating new folders with different form IDs. Each stance activates a distinct visual effect around the character, with colored lights and an icon above the head to signify the stance in use. Unlike Stance Dynamic Animation Sets mod, Stance NG offers a faster stance swapping speed and greater compatibility with different game versions. Though it does not include a neutral stance, players start without any stance. But once the keybind is pressed, they switch to a stance, which can be customized in the Stance's NG any file. Additionally, with the Stance's NG add-on mod, each stance can offer unique buff effects, allowing players to experience a variety of combat styles and enhancing the overall depth of their in-game battles. Next up is Timed Dodge. This mod allows players to perform a dodge maneuver with precise timing to evade enemy attacks. When the player initiates a dodge just before a melee attack lands, a slow motion effect is triggered for four seconds, during which the player becomes invincible and immune to damage. Executing a dodge at the right moment offers a tactical advantage, as players can use the slow motion window to counterattack. Timed dodge has a cooldown of 12 seconds, and successfully dodging restores 30 stamina and 30 magicka, encouraging players to observe enemy attack patterns for optimal timing. This mod is compatible with other dodge mods like DMCO, TK Dodge RE, and Ultimate Dodge, functions with non-human creatures, and operates entirely script-free, offering a seamless experience that's surprisingly underutilized among players. Next up is Scriptless Arkham Attack Indicators Lagless. This mod provides scriptless animated Arkham visual style attack indicators for magic, ranged, and melee attacks. The indicators are clean, color-coded, and display icons above enemies' heads during melee attacks, bow attacks, and magic casting. This mod operates based on SPID and Scrambled Bugs, and you need to set Attach Hit Effect Art to True in the Scrambled Bugs JSON file. The attack indicators only appear when enemies target the player and are compatible with mods like True HUD and MCO, enhancing the RPG feel during combat. Another day, another victory. In this section, I will introduce about three interface-related mods. First up is Game Over Screen. This another mod day, enhances the standard death victory. experience by adding a unique Game Over Screen, replacing the usual fade to black with a more impactful visual and auditory effect. When the player's character dies, the mod introduces a distinct screen overlay that gives a classic Game Over feel, often seen in RPGs. This can be customized to suit various visual styles, adding an extra layer of immersion and a memorable marker for each death, making the experience of failing or losing a battle feel more cinematic and impactful. It's a simple yet effective mod for players wanting to personalize their Skyrim experience with a nostalgic touch. Next up is pop-up location names every time. This mod ensures that each location's name appears every time you enter it adding an immersive touch to your Skyrim travels. Typically, location names only show the first time you visit. But with this mod, you're reminded of each location's name every time you pass through, making navigation and orientation within the game world more intuitive. Through the MCM menu, you can adjust settings like display position, size, font, and sound effects, and even set sounds to play only when entering cities or dungeons. You can also download and apply custom fonts, such as the Stum Font Pack. It's a great choice for players seeking extra immersion and a seamless experience while exploring Skyrim's vast landscape. Next up is Dragonborn Reskin Swiftly Order Squad. 
This mod completely redesigns the appearance of the Swiftly Order Squad menu in a Dragonborn style, offering a hand-drawn skin that fits well with the game's medieval theme, creating a rustic style. In addition to the default style, it also offers Edge UI color variations and Nordic UI style, allowing Swiftly Order Squad users to enhance their interface through this mod. In this section, we'll be looking at some visual enhancement mods, starting with Rainbows Over Waterfalls. This enchanting mod brings vibrant rainbows to Skyrim's waterfalls, adding a magical, picturesque touch to the landscape. He's rainbows aren't just static. They appear at specific times of day and are influenced by the weather, creating an immersive, natural effect. In the western regions, rainbows can be seen in the morning from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., while in the east, they illuminate the waterfalls in the afternoon from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. In the central regions, the rainbows last longer, giving you ample opportunity to enjoy the view. Even in some indoor locations, like Blackreach and Eldergleam Sanctuary, you can spot these beautiful rainbows, making the world of Skyrim feel even more alive and enchanting. This section focuses on gameplay mods, and I'll introduce two notable ones. First up is Animated Interactions SKSE. This mod adds new interaction animations when the player picks up items or gathers resources, enhancing immersion in the game. Compared to the well-known interaction mod by Jay Serpa, this one has a key difference. While Jay Serpa's mod displays a full animation for each interaction, Animated Interactions SKSE allows the player to use their left arm to interact in real time, showing the picked up item directly in the hand used. This feature lets players loot items even while moving, making interactions feel much more immediate and streamlined. It also gives a fresh touch by displaying every object directly in hand. Although it's still in development, the creator has released version 1.1.3 for public use. Despite its excellence, it remains relatively unknown, which is why I'm introducing it here. However, to use the Immersive Interaction mod alongside this mod, you need to disable certain settings in the MCM menu of Immersive Interaction, as shown on the screen. Please keep this in mind when using both mods together. Next up is Super Fast Wait Menu SE. This mod introduces an ultra-fast wait menu that lets you wait for several days at a time. Waiting under 24 hours is instantaneous, while waiting over a day cycles through each day very quickly. Waiting for more than three days triggers world cell and vendor stock resets, which can be useful for troubleshooting or resolving issues with other mods. You can set a separate hotkey for this menu or redefine the vanilla wait menu to use the new one, making it a practical and efficient tool for managing in-game time. That wraps up our selection of hidden gem mods for November. Be sure to check them out and bring fresh excitement to your adventures in Skyrim. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more updates on the best mods coming your way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.